Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. And welcome to the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. Well, how's it going today? <laughs> <laughs> As our dogs are crazy barking. Oh my gosh. They're so excited to see me because I haven't been home. <laughs> and you are more than welcome to go play with them after this podcast. Yes. That would be lovely. They just, they got, the dogs got groomed, so they're ready to be on the couch yes. with their dad. They are very spoiled, three little Shih Tzus, two are going to be 11 years old, yeah. and one's going to be 10 years old, yep. and you would swear they were puppies, and we just got them because, yeah, they're a handful, yep, but Ryan I love, loves his I little love, dogs. I love my Shih Tzus. And if you know how big Ryan is, he's not a small dude. <laughs> so, so the fact that he loves these three little Shih Tzus is always quite adorable, especially when he's walking them down our streets. Yes. So, yeah. So I thought today we would chat about believing in yourself and then it kind of segues into how you fish and that you believe and you keep going and you keep trying sometimes to a fault, which is why I don't go fishing very often because he could stay out there all night. But I've been doing a lot of rework and getting some things together in my business. And today when I was doing all those things, it really just led me down a path of memory lane. And I talked about it a little bit on my Facebook Live today, which you haven't seen because you literally just got home half an hour ago, but I thought we could talk about it on the podcast and you could share your perspective on believing in yourself and even when things were really rough and when we first got started and you really started from scratch, you didn't grow up down here. You didn't have a dad and then a grandpa and everyone that fished. You no. didn't have anyone that taught you. Nobody taught me. No. So maybe share some thoughts on, you know, how did you drum up all that confidence to get out there and, and believe in yourself and, and, and start to learn how to fish or even how to start to learn how to do this business because it's applicable to anything in life. It's for me, it just was the love of just being able to, to go fishing and that's the way I look at it. I was I looked at it as just going fishing. Really, that was it. And it was the for me it was the small wins along the way. I guess the best way for me to describe it is the fish is a symbol. It's just a, it's a, it's a symbol. When you catch a fish, it's a symbol as a win. All the hard work that goes into it and you can really make things happen in your life. And when you catch a fish that You've really put all your time and effort into learning, and you catch that fish even in super tough conditions. It's like a symbol. It's like all that. It's not about catching the fish. It's all about all the work mm. that you put into it and the reward. Mm -hmm. So, and that's kind of the way I always approached it. That's the way how I always approached it. And really, I didn't think about it. I just went and did it. And I just went fishing. I was. I have like I'm so lucky, and I, I have to remind myself that to be able to do this and to be pres and that's what I have to tell myself every day. It's like, hey, you know, and not every day is going to be great. Yeah, I was listening to something today. It was an amazing little course on Facebook, and Ryan, you'll be listening to it this weekend. Oh, fun. So I know you no, love all I the things. That I, I doubt that. Yes, I doubt no, it. you no. will be. Yes, well, because no, we'll be, yes. I'm not going to be listening to that <laughs> crap. No, not it's this not weekend. crap. No, not this weekend. I'm not <laughs> listening to that stuff this weekend. <laughs> Anyhow, this is our our world. So, but she was talking about how it is. It's not worrying about all the other things. So the actual class was on time. Um, it was on mindset around time. And the gist of what she was getting across was not getting caught up in all the stuff, just doing your best every day. So if you just do your best every day, you don't get caught up in all the other junk. So let's say time, let's say worrying about what your neighbor does, worrying about what someone else catches, worrying about this or that, um, focusing on negative aspects around money. You know, there's lots of things that can go into that bucket. And 
that's all stuff that's going on in your head that most often you don't talk about with other people, but it's going on in your head, your concerns and different things that take you off those positive railroad tracks. But if you just stayed focused and did your best every day consistently and you didn't give up, you're going to get there and you can collapse time in the process if you stay on those tracks, if you stay on the positive railroad tracks, if you don't go back and forth, if you don't get caught up in other bullshit out there, and if you just stay true to your path and to your mission. And that's quite interesting that that's what I was listening to today as I was doing a lot of work around the house and doing some other things. And here it is. That's really what Ryan is saying contributed to him building what he's built. He just stayed consistent to his love of fishing and consistently fishing. That's it. It's the love of fishing. And that's honestly, that's it. It's the love to just go fishing. And like I had, it was just an interesting story. It just, it, and it just happened this week. And in my, in my rigging group, I've got a, um, Tim and he fished with me on, on Monday. It mm-hmm. has been for shit as far as the weather goes. And Tim and I have been planning this trip to go, and I knew it was my only chance to get to see Tim and go fishing, and yeah. it was rough. The weather was rough, It was my, and I had lost seven days in a row. So I beat my way out there, and I get all the way out there, and I realized that I left my tackle box with all my weights and all my hooks. I know. And you texted me. I was like, of all the people. Back, like, at, oh, back, at, back at the dock. That you're fishing <clears throat> with. Okay. So I've had some things happen recently that, you know, shit happens. But you know what? That really, like, ran through my brain. Okay. The first thing that comes through my brain is... Oh my God, I look like a piece of shit that I did this. I can't believe this. And then all the business part of it comes into play. Okay, so the business starts running through my brain. And I'm with Tim, and Tim goes, Hey man, you know, it's fit. We're going, you know, just think of it like this. You know, we're just going fishing, man. And you know what? At that time, I was like, I kind of lost. Like, it was like a little bit of me just kind of lost that I'm there to go fishing because I was out all week. I was stressed. I lost money and I just kind of got lost. And I, and all that whole mumble jumbo, I forgot my tackle box. Mm. So. Because you've never done that. And I've never done that. Ever. And I was just stressed. I was stressed. Because, and then. So I pulled the anchor. I got anchored. I got all set. It took me like an hour to get set. So, but I looked at the, so then all of a sudden my brain started clicking. I looked at the tide charts and we were there to catch a big grouper. Okay. That was it. Anything else was, that that was the plan. Whether we were going to get one, we are going to go all in. And you guys know about sword fishing. The, catching a big grouper is, there's, there's ways to do it and times and all that stuff. It's it's strategy. So and if you don't, it's there's a lot that goes into it. So I'm not going to go into that today. So I so I said, hey Tim, let's just you know we're going to make the run back to the dock. He said, yeah man, let's just go. So just we ran back in and I picked up the tackle box and we got back out and the the tide was like really crappy and the fishing was really crappy. And then I said, was a stick it out, stick it out. And we lost a grouper. And I was like, we're going to get another shot. And then the weather got really rough. The wind started picking up against the tide. It was blowing. And sure enough, right before it got really nasty, we ended up getting a 30-pound black. Tim caught his 30-pound black grouper, his first one. And right after that, we pulled the anchor and got out of there because it was getting nasty. Yeah, but the, what I'm trying to say is that it's just the the fish to me is like a symbol. Is that it, like you said, all the work that goes into everything, and it's more about how in life that things can happen. 
Like magic can happen if you work hard enough. And when you catch a fish in the bottom of the ninth with five minutes left to go, and like that is how I look at it. That is how I look at it. I've had instances where I've caught wahoo like that coming home with nothing in the bag and you're, all you're looking for is one big wahoo. That's all that client wants. And your mind set's got to be right. My mindset was right that day. I said I knew we were going to get that fish. and I don't know why, but I just stuck it out and we got it. So that's the way I look at it. That's the way I look at fishing. I look at it like, hey, man, there's a chance that you could be out there and you could – something awesome can happen any time you're out there. It's not about being out there every day either. I get that a lot. It's like, yeah, I'm out there every day, but I know guys that go out there on the weekends and they see a whale shark. I've never seen a whale shark. Yeah. So it's not about being out there every day and the chance. Yeah, being out there every day helps because you see different conditions. But there's ways you can like make yourself better. So I guess what in the end here, I'm just trying to say, hey, if the fish is a symbol of hope for me. Like you, I can make magic happen. And some days it doesn't, and so you know that's the way shit works. But when it does happen, there's something in my mind that just clicks that says, "Wow, it's just amazing." So, I think that more if more people looked at fishing that way, then I think you would probably catch more fish and enjoy the time out of the water. Mm -hmm. So, I've just been very lucky that I have the clients that I have had over the past three weeks are clients that listen to the podcast and these guys are like all think that way right they all think the same and that makes them like the fishing trip so much better i would never have gotten that fish if some guy would have gotten my ear Mm -hmm. oh how'd you do that or if he would have got all mad he wouldn't and then it wouldn't have happened but i've been very lucky that i've had people listening to this podcast that are like like minded like minded so they know shit can happen out there so yeah that's just you know so that's what i'm just trying to say yeah yes. but it's relatable so, to anything i it's mean relatable just like in life you just know? like anything like money is also a symbol right mm-hmm. and so many people get caught up in the money aspect but really it's it's just it's a symbol it's energy it's a symbol and you have fun while you're earning it. It's the journey. It's the process. And then that's the reward. So, yep. and then like with fishing, you get so excited when you share with the guys at the marina. And it's the same aspect with anything. It's being generous and sharing in the reward and making it just a really fun experience. Yeah, that's, that's it. And I get so it's just the the whole reward for me now is just being able number one to to meet goals, be consistent. Being consistent is ten times better than hitting that one home run. That's it. And being consistent during the tough times. Yeah. Not just like for example the mutton spawn, or fishing when the moons are just good, fishing when the opportunity when things are supposed to be right and looking like a hero. A good fisherman is defined by somebody that can that can can produce all the time, consistent consistently. Mm-hmm. All all the great athletes are like that, and I have a lot more respect for guys that go all the time, even when it's bad. Right. Even when the conditions are bad, they still make it work. Those are the guys that I look up to. That's it. That's you know that's. I've seen baseball players, the, the best baseball players are the ones that bat 300. So that's it. Yeah. And that's, I've got a lot of respect for guys that can consistently go out there and catch in all sorts of conditions. And then the guy that picks the moon, only fishes during the spawn in the summer when the conditions are good. <laughs> yeah, we, we get all that. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> So anyways. So, yeah. Well, I know you're exhausted. Yep. So I want to say thank you for jumping on this podcast and hanging out with me for this inspirational bit about believing in yourself. Yep. 
and having fun and learning and growing as you're having fun. So I had never heard you share that before. So I actually appreciate hearing that too. Yeah. So thank you. Having fun is the first part. Mm-hmm. And then having, then that goes, if you, if you're having fun doing something, the confidence comes along with it and then everything else will follow because then you become better at what you do in your practice because you're having fun doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I can't see why it's like, you're having fun. You're going to be great at it. If you really want to, if you really are having fun and want to get better. Yep. So that is so true. That is so true. Yep. So everyone, thank you so much for listening. We hope you have a great month ahead an awesome holiday weekend. I will be releasing this on Sunday morning. So happy Memorial day. If you listen to it Sunday or Monday, and you can connect with me on all the socials or my website, which is goodkarmasuccesscoach.com. And Ryan, how can they get hold of you? Uh, they can follow me on Instagram at goodkarmasportfishing underscore FL underscore keys. And check out my website at goodkarmasportfishing.com. Awesome. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.